All right, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rachakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth well and, and is still out here pushing the truth. And uh, much peace, love, and salutation to the elect that are here uh, pushing the word with all truth and sincerity as well. Shalom. Uh, this is the brother Tazama just coming back with a uh, another lesson. Um, just wanted to go into a lesson in regards to a uh, scenario that happened at camp yesterday. Uh, you know, down here in Dallas, so we have two camps. We have a you know the Friday camp, which is the main camp uh, that consists of uh, you know the older brothers, the elders, you know, including uh, the rest of the camp, the rest of the brothers as well. But on uh, Tuesdays, we actually have another camp. That is uh, on GMS end of days seven, and uh, it just consists of a majority of the uh, the younger brothers coming up. Whereas you know it gives them an opportunity to speak a little bit more, and uh, you know to go out there and teach the word, man, and, and push the truth. But uh, yesterday there was a scenario at camp where uh, this Edomite devil came up, and you know he was getting cut in the scriptures, and uh, he actually pulled a gun out on us. You know, and I'm gonna play it on the uh, I'm gonna play it on the video, you know, just so brothers can see. But this is just a reality check. Like, hey man, shit is getting real. All right, as the scripture reads in uh, Revelations, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse, uh, the devil's gonna come out, uh, come down, having great wrath, cause he knows that he has a short time. All right, and these Edomites, man, you, you so-called white people, man, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna walk up more boldly. You know, it was an incident in a scenario last Friday where, you know, a group of Edomites just tried to uh, try to walk up on the camp so-called unknowingly like they didn't know what they was doing, you know, but it was just it was a test. All right. And, and last night was a test of faith that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai put before us. And, you know, I can just speak for myself and, you know, I could t I could tell with the rest of the Akim that was out there, too. Man, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai didn't put a spirit of fear on us, man. Because we wholly and truly have faith and have faith that the Heavenly Father is dealing with us, man, and that He can He can take us in any scenario and situation and deliver us, man. All right, this first scripture I have is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 4. It says, Ye have not, let me start at verse 3. It says, For consider him. That endured, that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your hand, in, in your minds. You see, and that hymn is talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, it says that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds, man. All right, because uh, you know that scenario that happened yesterday, man. You know, uh, Akim could have fainted. You know, could have got weak and and, and and bitched up and and you know denounced the truth. Denounced Yahweh Shai, but that didn't happen, man. Okay, as a, which we're gonna get, you know, the, the Most High that didn't get doesn't give us a, a spirit of fear, man, but of power and a strong mind. All right, verse four says, "Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin." You see, we haven't resisted unto blood yet, whereas these guys are actually gonna come out and try to uh, physically harm us, man. And yesterday was just a prime example of of what's to come. But it's also an example as well that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, is gonna set lift up that standard. You see? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna lift up the standard. Alright, so I had to pause the video. I don't know who that was that called, but uh the Heavenly Father is going to lift up a standard, man, and, and the men of the Lord, the elect, Lord willing, we're of that number, all right? The Heavenly Father is going to put a spirit upon us that we'll be able to endure temptations and afflictions, even though it's going to get hard, but it's the spirit, man. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to play a little bit of the video just so you I can, can see for yourself that, you know, Esau ain't playing. Really, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh ain't playing, man. This ain't no joke. You see, so I'm gonna play a little bit of the video, then we'll get some scriptures. Be real with yourself. Yeah, man. Be real, real man. Be Esau. Hey, you gonna blow your best friend head off? Yeah. yeah. You gonna blow head off? Let me rewind it a little bit, cause he said I'll blow your he effing heads off, right? 
and that's the guy. The joints and marrow. And of the joints and marrow. Go ahead. It is like the discerning of the thoughts. It's the discerning of your thoughts. That's why you say you want to blow our heads off. Right. That's right. right. It's right. the discerning of your thoughts. Right. Because you ultimately hate us. That's that's right. Right. You hate us, man. Right. Just be real with yourself. Yeah, man. Right. Be right. real, man. Right. Be Esau. Hey, you gonna blow your best friend head off? Yeah. yeah. You gonna blow that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. The people that be on the boat. And the reason why they said that because he said I'll blow your fucking heads off. You know, I wanna um. I want to go back and try to find out. I don't know the exact timestamp, you know, but he 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 said it to us on, on on the on the video. All right, and then you can type in the title GMS Dallas Live Camp seven seventeen eighteen, and you can watch the video. Started around the fifty minute mark and just watch through to about like one hour and fifteen minutes, and you'll see how much these Edomites really hate you, man. How much they despise you, and and and, and that they and he got cut so bad that he was willing to pull out his sword to make ends meet. You see? You man, you better watch out. That's yeah, right. So if, if, you, if, if, if them guys on the boats watching this video, watch out for him. Never trust our enemy. Never trust our enemy. enemy. Yeah. Whereas yeah. iron yeah. rust is souls yeah. is wickedness, man. Right. Yeah. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, if you trust that that right that 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 look, that. if you come from that you're line, don't that. trust the so-called white man. That's right. right. He going to come down on you with great wrath very soon, yeah. man. That's right. right. He has an ancient hatred. For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. There you go, right there. You a Trump supporter, huh? The you like Donald Trump, huh? No. You don't? You're, you didn't vote for him? I voted for Hillary. You voted for Hillary? <laughs> What's up with Hillary? I don't know. Now. Actually made to kill our people. Oh, so here we go. You're on. Is it a fact? Is it a lie? Yeah, turn it over. Who was, the, who was the founder of Planned Parenthood? Huh? Marcus. Who was the founder of Planned Parenthood? I really Parenthood? care about Margaret Sanger. Okay. Okay, and you so know Margaret Trump? Sanger you're was Trump? one of the idols of Hillary you're Clinton. For Trump or Hillary? I ain't vote for none of them devils, man. All right, because right, they both so, the devils. That's right. Trump they both the devils. That's right. Make they say they say vote for the uh, the, make the better stand. peoples, right? We are yeah. making a stand. You're not. You're not. That's why we stand in bold as a lion. That's right. right. That's why you don't walk up the street twice. You have no answers. <laughs> you hurt. Where's Where your scriptures at, boy? Where your scriptures at, man? For God to love the world. For God to love the world. And they always run to that John 3.16, which brother's been going in on the spirit on that, man. For God to love the world. That's the scapegoat. You see how he just said it? You see these Edomites are through, man. And they have no answer. So the only thing that they can resort to now is, 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 is physically trying to come in and attack us, man. That's the only thing they can resort to now. You see? And you about to see. The world mean the Greek. I don't know Greek. I don't know it's the word cosmos. Which means an ordered arrangement, okay? It doesn't uh, mean it doesn't like, mean the whole inhabited world. This is like fucking arguing okay? with the ground. Yeah, because yeah, we. Like, why, so why is it? Why is it? Why so, is so like dumb. Because we see how he's screaming and yelling, man. He, he they don't have it, man. That eight, that that ancient hatred is coming out of these devils, man. You see, they can't take it no more, man. They can't take it no more. That's why, let's just get it real quick. Since we quoted it earlier, let's just get it. All right. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. And he knows that he has a short time, man. Esau, the, the so-called white man, he knows that his time is, his time is up. All right. And when you watch that video, man, he was getting cut in the spirit because he, uh, uh, the, the word was revealing his true intentions, man. Okay, as the scripture reads in Hebrews, the fourth chapter, the 12th verse, the word is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even into the dividing asunder of, of joint and marrow and is a discerner of the hearts, man. That's why when he said, I'll blow your effing heads off. Hey man, the word was getting to him, man, and it was and it was showing his true intents, man. That 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 hatred that he has for us, man. Like Esau said, now I shall now shall I slay my brother Jacob when we receive the blessing, man. He wants to slay Jacob, man. He wants to slay you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But the spirit of your uh, of your Howabah Shem Yahusha was on us last night, man. To not 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 even move, man. I can truthfully and honestly say through the spirit, and I pray that the Lord keeps the spirit on me when, when persecution gets real hard. I can truthfully and honestly say, man, I was not afraid to die, man. I wasn't afraid to be a martyr for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Standing in the face of affliction, man. Okay? 
And we wasn't, none of us was, man. All of us, all of us stood firmly and stiffly for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Let's continue. Stand firm! Uh, Stand firm! Now, 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 now listen, you see how he's standing right now? Listen closely. All right, you're gonna hear him cock the gun and you're gonna see him pull it out of his pocket. All right? I'm just gonna rewind it 10 seconds just so you, you know, brothers can see. All right? This is deadly serious times we in, man. All right? So pay, just, just watch. Okay. Yeah, because we are. Why is it our son? Our son, 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 you see the gun in his right hand. It's in his right hand. It's zoomed into the fool. I can't really zoom. I got a picture of it though, but you see it. Now listen. Esau, come back. Esau, come back. He, he just come cocked back. his gun. He just cocked his gun, man. Come back, come back. Come back Esau. Come here. Come here. Hey, I know, I know. Verse 18. I know. It's a spirit because, and this is truthfully speaking, I'm just truthfully speaking now. You know, the whole way, the whole time I am, but you know, just being truthful about last night. Me personally, as I was talking to him, the spirit was on me so hard and so tough that I didn't even recognize him cock and load the gun. You see, I didn't recognize it and I didn't even notice it. All right. And and the, even when the brother that's holding the camera was like, he just cocked and loaded the he just cocked the gun. I didn't even hear the brother say that. You see, because I feel like the spirit had it, whereas if I would have heard him or would have seen him do it, it would have been a distraction. And it would have threw it would have threw me off. Now, of course, we do got to be circumspect. OK, and in and, and, and the spirit in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah was moving throughout the whole camp yesterday with brothers seen it. Brothers had it on everything on camera. The sound picked it up when he cocked and loaded it. You see, let's just rewind it back 10 seconds just, just to hear it again. You see. Let's see so Jeremiah 1 and 18. Yeah. Oh, you said it's like arguing yeah. like the brown, right? Fucking out. It's like arguing like the brown, right? Hey, listen to this, Esau. Come back. Bless Esau. Esau. He, he just cocked his gun. He just cocked his gun, man. Come back, Esau. Come here. Come here. Hey, I know. I know. Verse 18. I know. You know, and, and he, I was saying, come here, because I didn't hear him cock the gun. I was just going to tell the scripture to him. How the Lord has us as the brazen wall and the iron pillar, man, which he had us like that uh, uh, last night, man. We wasn't moved. You see? We wasn't moved, man. Okay? We don't fear what man could do to us, man. But we fear what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah can do, do to us, man. Okay? Now, I got some just some clips and some images, you know. That's the guy right there. He saw himself, all right, and that's the gun, all right, and this is a video of him getting locked up. man. All right, that devil got locked up, man. He got arrested, and that's the picture of the gun. You see? So these devils are gonna become more bold. They're gonna come up to these camps, uh, being more, uh, uh, showing their hatred more and more. And you see, he's 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 resorting to his what? He's resorting to his blessing now, man. He's resorting to the sword. Okay, but that shouldn't that shouldn't phase us or stop us from uh, uh, doing what we need to do, man. Because the angels of, of the Lord are with us, man. This is Jer uh, Psalm 34 and 7. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them, man. You see, and the Lord delivered us out of that scenario last night, man. Ultimately, it was a test of faith for us to see how we was going to react and respond to what to what happened. Okay? And we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, man. And the angels and, and it's the spirit, because I mentioned that right afterward, man. You see, because I, like I said, I didn't know he even had a gun and that he even cocked it. 
The spirit was just on me just to curse his ass out. I didn't even I didn't even notice it. You see? I have made this day. I have made thee this day. Go ahead. A defense city. A defense city, man. You look at a defense city right here, man. You can't overthrow it, Esau. That's right. That's right. The wicked flees when no man man pursue it. You know what, brother? You wicked. You Esau, Edomites are weak. That's right. Y'all weak, man. You weak. That's why you run up the street. You know, and, you know, brothers can watch the, you know, brothers can watch the video, you know, but the angels of the Lord encamp around about them that fear him and deliver them, man. And the Lord delivered us, man. Anything could have happened, man. You know, anything can happen while we out there, man. Ain't no telling. You see, anybody could just ride around with a uh, with a machine gun or whatever the case is and do a drive by shooting on us, man. But the scripture says what you're going to get here in a minute. You know, you got to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. You see. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 33 and 1. It says, there shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord. You see? No evil. You got, And you got to believe that, man. Now, you know, as the scriptures is written, as it is written, man, hey, man, there's going to be there's going to be martyrs for this truth, man. Some of us are going to have to die. You know, but even with us uh, dying, if, you know, if, if that lot is appointed to any of us, you know, we're gonna be the first ones. Uh, 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 we're gonna be the first ones in the chariot when Yahweh Shah returns, man. So you're not really dead, man. You're really receiving life, everlasting life, man. You know, anything could have happened last night where he could have really the spirit could have got on him to to take one one of, one of us out or shoot at us, man. Hey, man, but our faith was so high last night, man. If you would have shot, man, a bullet could have messed around and bounced off of us, man. Who knows, man? You see, but we coming to the times where we, the persecution is about to get real, man. Yeah, people, people are getting persecuted on YouTube and, you know, on the comment board and things of that nature, man. But the persecution is going to be serious, man. This persecution that's coming is going to be on a level that's really going to test brother's faith, man. And I hope and pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai puts a, a, an even stronger spirit upon myself and the, the Akim in the camp to be able to resist. Okay? It says, but in temptation... Even again, he will deliver him, man. And that was a t that was a very tempting moment yesterday, man. In the face of adversity, in the face of imminent death, man. Because it wasn't on the camera, but the guy even turned around and he cocked and he aimed the gun at us, man. He had the gun aimed at us, man. I seen that. I thought it was a cell phone, like I said. But he aimed, he aimed the gun at us, man, twice. You see? This ain't no, this ain't no game, man. This ain't no game, man. Okay. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear. You see, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, He hasn't given us the spirit of fear, man. Okay. Now, this Greek word for fear is strong G1167, which is a uh, Dalia. All right. Dalia says a uh, timidity. Okay. Timidity. And when you look up the definition, of timidity to be what a lack of courage or confidence man we didn't lack courage man we don't the, he didn't give us the spirit to, to lack in courage and confidence last night man okay he didn't give us that spirit just to be weak to be weak-minded and weak-hearted and, and and just just lose our ground man no we stood we stood stiffly for the uh, for, for the cause and for the name of yahweh bashim yahweh shai man we stood stiffly in the face of esau man our, our, our fucking enemy man and the Lord delivered us, man. You see? Fearfulness. Cowardice. You see? He didn't, man, look, man. He didn't give us the spirit to be no damn coward, man. You see? It says, uh, uh, for the Most High hath not given us, given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, man. And that's what was exhibited yesterday, man. Okay, brothers was in the spirit of power and of love. Okay, and of a sound mind and a wholesome mind, man, to be able to break down the scriptures correct and to cut that damn demon that was out there, man. Whereas the only way he could resort to was uh, to try to be carnal while we was re uh, remaining spiritual, man. Ain't nobody put hands on him, man. Nobody touched him. 
He was the one that came up to us and got close to us and then pulled out his pistol. You see? This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is your reasonable service, man. Okay? Like the brother Sha'ar, you know, my brother, man, he made a video last week talking about, man, look, man, roughly paraphrasing, we in the straight gate, man. This is what we asked for. Okay? This is what we signed up for, man. And it's too late in the game to bitch up and, and, and be a coward, man. Okay? This is what we signed up for. Now, of course, we do got to be circumspect. We do got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. You see? But, hey, as you've seen in the video, man, the spirit had it where the, uh, the cops came and arrested that dude, man. You see? But we got to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. Holy and acceptable unto the most high, which is our reasonable service, man. It's our reasonable service to go out there and teach the word, understanding that you're in the threat of imminent death, man, being a witness for Yahweh Shai, man. You see? Because when you're a witness, when you're a witness to something and you and you go up to the uh to trial, well, you gotta be put in witness protection, man. Why? Because you're in the threat of imminent death at the end of the day, you see. You're going to jump over a couple chapters. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 31. It says, What shall we say then to these what shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah be for us, who can be against us? You see? If you know that the Lord is with you and you know that the Lord is guiding you, and he's out there protecting you, man, who can be against you at the end of the day, man? Can't nobody step up against the truth and doctrine of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah, man, which has been taught from our apostles and elders on down, man. You see? Can't nobody be against us, man. They can try, man, but you really contending with the uh, with the Heavenly Father, man. You really are fighting against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, which you're gonna lose that battle dramatically, Esau. And you two third niggas, man. You see? I'm gonna jump down to verse 35. What who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation, which was yesterday was a sign of tribulation, distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or the sword? You see, is this going to separate us from the love of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai? Hell no. Lord willing, man. Lord willing, our minds can stay intact, man. Lord willing, we can stay uh, diligent in this thing and, 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 and endure until the end, man. Verse 38. Verse, I'm sorry, verse 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, man. Okay? For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh, our Lord, man. You see? And we're persuaded with that, man. We're fully persuaded, man. And Lord willing, we continue to stay fully persuaded in our minds, man. You see? Got a couple more scriptures I'm be done, man, because I got to go back to work. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. You see? And, we're in, and the Lord put the spirit in us to stand in great boldness, man. Not fearing, uh, uh, not, not fearing death, man. Not giving a damn, man. Fuck these bodies, man. Fuck this world, man. You got nothing else to lose on this side, man. And hey, man, if you go out preaching the word and preaching the truth and, and you're a martyr, man, hey, like the, like the scripture says, man, that's a reward, man. You got a reward coming, man. You see? Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for everything that happened, man. Okay? For giving us the faith to, 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 to withstand the devil in his face, man, and, and curse his ass out, man. While he had a weapon to us, man. While he pointed a gun at us, man. We ain't worried about no gun, man. The Lord could have had it where that gun could have jammed up if he tried to shoot it, man. You see? We're going to stand in great boldness in the face of such as has afflicted him and made no account of our labors, man. And that's and that's in the face of Esau, man. You see? Salakia. Uh, got a couple more. Sirach 34. And, uh, 14. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. You see? And we wasn't fearing or we was not afraid, man. 
And this is just the beginning of things to come, man. I've never in my life had to look down the barrel of a gun, man. I didn't, I didn't even know I was doing it yesterday. You see? So it's like, hey, man, Esau going to come, man. Bring it on, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is with us, man. And you got to believe that. You have to wholeheartedly believe that, man. Okay? And the Lord will deliver you, man. The last one. Psalms 56 and 11. It says, In Yahweh Bashem Yahushua have I put my trust. We put our confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. We don't put our confidence in our own personal so-called strength or our own personal so-called uh, uh, wisdom or knowledge that we may have gotten. Nah, man. We put our trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. It says, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me, man. And that's real, man. We ain't, we ain't scared of what man can do to us, man. Okay? Because we know that in, in, at the end of the day, man, you're going to be our slaves, man. And we're going to get you, man. And I, and I, and I pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua that that dude is going to be my slave in the kingdom, man. You see? And I hope and pray that Yahweh Bashem Yahushua grants me with my request if I'm one of the elect, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahushua willing, man. You see? So these guys, man, these devils are pulling out their guns, as you see. You know? It's getting real, man. It's getting serious, man. And he cocked and loaded it on the video, as you brothers heard, man. So you got to take this thing seriously, man, because this ain't no game, man. With that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And much peace, love, and salutations to the elect occupants out here pushing the world with all truth and sincerity. Hey, man, we come. This is the this this the last this this the last this is the last end, man. You see, we at the end of this race, man, and it's gonna get hard. It's gonna get serious. It's gonna get more serious and tough, man. But hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua before us, man. Who can be against us? Shalom.